Hello there and welcome to the Mobile Academy and if you want to become a job ready Flutter developer make sure to check out the courses on my website mobileacademy.io here you will find all of the courses related to the flutter development you will find the professional course as well as the basic course related to the flutter you can also find some of the uh, free courses over here if you want to just go and try it out or if you are just a beginner on the flutter and then the react native you can also find the free course over here and if you would like to be a full stack developer, we also have the course related to the full stack developer, related to the uh, Node.js, Express, MongoDB, as well as the Flutter over here. And if you would like to join the uh, Flutter Bootcamp, there is also a Bootcamp course over here. So make sure to go and check out the course over here. There are free and then they paid codes. And if you want to be a job ready Flutter developer, this is the course that you would want to take. So see you guys on the next lesson. Till then, have a great day. Now let us try to see how we can prevent navigating to the same route multiple times. So let's say we are in this particular detail page. So let's go and open our uh, details screen over here. And we can go and add a one more new button over here. So let's just go and copy this particular button from here and let me go below this one and let me just go and paste that particular button over here and i'll just uh, go and call this one as okay so let's just go and remove this one from here for now uh, let's just go and remove it from here and here i'll just go and say to let's say go to uh, detail over here so this is to go to uh, a detail over here so which means that if i click on here it should open this particular detail page again so here I'll just go and say that we have this context dot the uh, let's say a push right so we want to context that push and our location not the location so let's go to our uh, product screen and from here we are navigating to that particular product detail over here right so I guess this is the one that we are navigating over here so let's try to copy this one from here and uh, let's go back to our screen uh, uh, detail screen over here and let's just go and paste that one over here and update name let's just go and pass uh, let's go and see what was that uh, i forgot that so let's go to the our product screen and let's say this is of the function i guess so let's go and see what is that particular function i'll just go and copy this one from here and let's just go and paste that uh, below this one over here or let's just go and paste it over here and I guess that should be fine so once we have that set up I guess that should be fine and it should uh, redirect us to the, this particular screen again so for that let me just go and uh, restart the application from here let's log in over here and let's go to the product go to the uh, detail over here I guess this is the one that we have and go to the uh, detail over here again and that should open up that particular page again over here so you can see that uh, we have to navigate multiple times to go back over here right so if I go over here again and it should be uh, back but if I go and click on this one not sorry not that one go to detail and go to detail uh, so I click the two times so I have to click back a uh, two time and then only I can go back so which means that it's actually opening that particular uh, screen or the uh, product detail screen uh, multiple stack so it's creating a multiple stack of that particular same route over here in the production environment we uh, want to prevent this kind of the um, the execution because let's say you have the uh, notification and uh, then you the user can click a uh, multiple time of that particular notification icon and it's going to open a um, notification page multiple times so I previously faced this uh, kind of the issue previously. So I just want to uh, let you know how we can fix that particular issue over here. So what we can do is we need to find the uh, current location. So what is our current route? And if that route is the uh, of the same and then we don't want to navigate over there. And for that, what we'll do is we require a go router over here. So let's say uh, go router over here and i'll just say context up and then i'll just go and make use of the uh, dot and then the route delegate a uh, router delegate over here 
and then I need to get the uh, current uh, configuration from here and I need to get the current configuration then then the I'll make use of the last and this will give us the uh, last route match over here and then I will just go and find the uh, particularly the unnamed or the match location over here so that should give me the uh, let's go and uh, make this one as a const of the uh, let's say uh, cur current route over here which is of equals of this one and let's just go and see what we went wrong over here context and the method can't in invoke the const so i guess it can't be const so let's just go and say the final over here and that should be fine and once we have this particular and we got that particular string as the current route over here and for that let's just go and make it a little bit bigger so it's quite long over here yeah you can actually create the uh, extension for this one so you can create a go router extension and uh, let's uh, do it in the later but uh, for now let's just go and check if the current uh, we will check for the if the current path that we have right so we have the current uh, current route or the current path that we have and let's just go and uh, which is should be of equals equals to the uh, for this one so it should be of this one right so let's just copy the whole thing from here just copy it and paste it over here so if the current route is of this one then we'll just go and return from here so we'll just go and say the return uh, which means that it's not going to execute this uh, particular code of block over here and i guess let's uh try to go and restart our application and now let's go to our, our product uh, detail page over here uh, i guess this is one and i need to open up the uh, product detail over here go to detail and if i go back so now you can see that it's just uh, opening a single uh, even if i click a uh, multiple time over here let's just click and uh, i'll just click on that so it's you can see that it's not opening that particular or not pushing that particular route uh to our route stack so it's not creating a duplicate route stack over here and uh, then we just uh, fix that particular issue so that should be the one that we are currently looking over here you can obviously go and create this is quite long but i guess it will be much more easier to have a extension for this one and for that let's go to our leaf folder and let's just create a new folder and then the uh, extension over here and let's just go and add a new file over here that will be of the let's say a uh, go router extension dot the uh, dot file over here and let's just go and create the uh, extension uh, extension over here and that will be of the uh, go router i guess uh go router over here uh, extension of the go router over here and let's just go and we need to import the uh go router over here so let's just import the go router package and uh the return type will be of the string and we just need a getter for here so that will be of the um, current uh let's see as a current path so see you are current the path over here or let's see a current uh, route over here and that will be from the uh, we require the route delegate from here right so let's go let's go and get the route delegate and we need the current uh, current configuration uh, current route delegate so let's just go and copy it from our detail so this is what we require so i'll just uh, copy this section and let's just go and paste it over here so this is not equals it should, should be of the return so we need to return this one from here so we got that particular string or the current route over here so um or the, you can just say current location i guess that will be a location which will be much more better and once we have all uh, this particular stuff what we can uh, do from here so i need to import from, from this particular package right so let's just go and import from our current package that will be of the uh, this one so this is our current package let's just copy the current package and here we require the uh, extension and then the uh, go router of this one so here what we can do is the uh, go router right so go uh, router that we have and uh, go router not this one 
go router dot of uh, context right and then we can just go and access our uh, current uh, location that we have set up over here is not this one it should be of the outside of this and then the current uh, location so that should be the one and we got our current location and, and now it's much it is much more simpler right so that should be the one and we are good to go so now uh, we can make use of this particular current uh, location and then we can uh, get that particular location and then check our uh, particular this particular condition over here so i guess that's all for this particular lesson and uh, we will meet up in the next one till then have a great day